everybody, it is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is do a tutorial. I want to share with you step by step how you can set up your meld app. So this is going to be your meld app. So ladies and gentlemen, this thing is beautiful. It's sexy. It's divine. And yeah, I'm really impressed. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to go over how to set up your app, Neobank Meld app. Um, and then we're also going to get into your pre-approval. So how to set up the fiat side. So there's a crypto side, which we'll start out with. And then we will also get into the fiat side. So if you guys do get something out of this, smash the like button, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Um, so first off, I will also mention that I have previously screen recorded this process. Um, so I was pretty excited. The news was announced at like 6 a.m. So the moose went on the Twitters and he saw this. So, yeah, man, I'm still cheesing. So I saw this post. The Meld Neobank is now live. Meld app is now available for download in the App Store. Um, around the world. So if you guys want, hit this link. I will also provide it for you down in the description below. Um, so with this app, we're now going to have our fiat with crypto. Um, and we're going to talk about some of the details. So a lot of meld videos coming out. So by the way, when you're watching this video, um, it could be Monday, October 7th or October 8th. So October 7th, the app is available for iOS, um, they're working on the Android side, so keep that in mind. And lending and borrowing is available October 8th, so tomorrow, Tuesday. So I'm doing this Monday, October 7th, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So currently, you're going to be able to use Euro um, if you do your KYC, which will be the second kind of tutorial. Um, but immediately, you will get your non-custodial crypto wallet. So let's dive into how this works. So again, I already previously screen recorded, um, but I did take notes. So we'll get into the step-by-step -step process with visuals. The first step, what you're going to do is go to your app store. So in the app store, I'll do it right now as well. All you're going to do is type in meld. Um, if not, you could also just type in meld app. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see the beautiful logo. Um, and as well as the app. So once you download that, then you can open up your app. So you're going to see Meld app, own your crypto, explore, etc. So once you download that, give it some patience um, and then you can open up your app. So it's very simple. Um, so step one, let's dive into step one. This is very crucial. So open up the app after it's downloaded and then you want to verify your mobile number. So for me, of course, we're going to have to blur this out. The moose is going to get loose in the edits as usual. Um, so set up your um, cell phone number and that's how you're going to be able to log into your account. It's going to be a form of verification for you. Step number two is to verify your email address. So once you get your SMS set up, you're then going to put in all of your information for your email. So it's very simple, very straightforward. Step number three is going to be to set up your pin. This is going to be straightforward as well. So put in a pin that you're not gonna forget, perhaps write it down on a sheet of paper. All right, so now we're at step number four, the most crucial in my opinion. So you're gonna have the option to import your seed phrase or create a new wallet. So for me, what I did is I went to my meld app from my desktop. So if you go to your meld app, or if not, perhaps you have it written down. So I've got a sheet of paper. Um, so I want to use my meld app for uh, my desktop as well as for my mobile. So what you're going to do if you already have an account set up is you can import your seed phrase. Um, so what you can do is type in on your desktop. So I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do here is log in to my meld app for desktop. And again, soon we're going to be seeing lending and borrowing. Um, and by the way, that's only going to be for the desktop. So for the mobile, you are not going to have lending and borrowing as of yet. So that's just going to be for the um, desktop version. 
So if you want to import your seed phrase and find it so that you have both the same account for your mobile as well as your desktop, what you're gonna do is go to the top right, go to profile and settings, and here you can go to seed phrase. Hit on view seed phrase. Then you're just gonna put in your password, okay? And then what you're gonna do is disclose by hitting this right here. So once you do that, all of your words are going to show up. So of course, the moose is gonna keep that blurred. So what you can do is import your words so that your meld app mobile is the exact same wallet non-custodial as your desktop. So that's what I recommend to do. If you want to, you can also just create a new wallet. All you have to do is follow the steps, write down your recovery seed phrase. So in the case that you lose access to your phone or for whatever reason, something's not syncing, you could always import that. There you go. After you complete those steps, you are now using your Meld app mobile. So here I'm going to put in my pin and this is what it looks like. It is phenomenal. We are screen recording right now. So some of the screen recording is from like 6 a.m. Um, so I was very excited. But right now we are 8 p.m. So the moose has had a long day. I've been painting all day. Um, and I'm just really impressed. So as you guys can see, it's very fluid. I like the overview. Currently I have a Euro account. So that's what we're gonna be talking about here in just a second. Um, but I like the overview. I like the way you can send, receive. And of course, you have access to Meld on Meld. You have a good Cardano wallet, Ethereum wallet, and you can exchange. For example, if we would like to exchange some Meld, hit on Select Asset, hit on Meld, and then we will select Meld on Meld, Meld on Avalanche, Ethereum. So I like that. I like this interoperability between blockchains and the fact that it's in an all-in-one place and then you also have your fiat and your crypto in one so i think that's really intuitive okay so that is how you set up your meld app mobile specifically for the crypto side so what we're going to do now is get it set up so that we can get access to our banking one thing to keep in mind is that you will not get access to a usd account um, currently you will only have access to a euro account so i'm going to show you how to set that up um, basically it's just verifying things um, but keep in mind that it's just euro right now they are working on adding different currencies you'll have several different currencies hopefully cad soon as for us um, they're not going to have that for a while so keep that in mind it's just the way it is so step number one you want to check your name. This is specifically so that your name in your account is correlated properly with your IDs. So if you're using, um, in this case, it would be a driver's license or a passport. You want to make sure that you set up your name properly. So for me, I'm going to put in my name and that's going to be step number one. So just like you're seeing on screen, do that. Step number two is going to be your country. So you're going to have to put in your country of residency, put in your mailing address. So very straightforward. Um, I had no issues there as well. And then step number three, you have your taxpayer ID. So if you're Canadian, you want to put in your SIN number. So that's going to be a nine digit number. Once you have that, plug that in. Um, it may be different um, depending on where you're at. So follow the steps there. Had no issues there. Um, and then step number four, you're going to have to put in your average monthly income. So it has a few questions. If you're a bowler like the moose, or if you're not, put that in as well. And then step number five, you want to do your identity verification. So for me, I had the option for a driver's license or passport. So I assume it will be the same for you as well. I was not able to do it with a driver's license. Um, I actually got a new one in the mail like two weeks ago. So I used a passport. I found that my passport worked well. When you're doing this, make sure to turn on some lights. Um, of course, as a cinematographer, you wanna make sure that you get enough light into the sensor and just keep it high key, keep it bright. Um, you, you're not going for a dramatic look here. You wanna make sure that everything um, is viewable in terms of exposure. So have your midtones, shadows, 
highlights set up nice. So just expose it properly, have a lot of light. Once you do that, hopefully your application will be approved. So I had a couple of issues with my photos. I had to retake them um, and then retake a photo of myself. Again, just back up a little bit, either step back yourself or move your phone further away from your face when you're taking a photo and you shouldn't have any issues. Um, so I have on my screen here that my application is approved and now we're ready to go. So this is what the app looks like. So currently on my phone, I've got 345 meld and it's beautiful. So I'm gonna click on that. And if we take a look on the desktop app, we've also got 345 meld. So this is the exact same wallet. And I like that idea. So if I ever go to my desktop and back and forth to my mobile, it's the exact same wallet. So it's all based on your seed phrase. So again, if you're creating a new wallet, write down your seed phrase, back it up and have that organized. So if we look at Cardano, we have 2.89 ADA. So man, Moose is going broke here, right? So if we take a look here, we've got 2.89 ADA. So the computer is gonna be a little bit slow here. We got OBS running. And on my Meld app mobile, right here, you can see the exact same balance. Um, so I do like that aspect. So if I were to refresh with the desktop, it's going to be the exact same um, with my mobile. Um, so the Meld app as well. The one thing I like a lot is that we now have a Meld app um, something where we can hold meld, easily send and receive, we could exchange. And of course, for those of you that use euros, um, you have a bank account for that. So you can take some euro and pick up some meld. Now let's take a look at the premium options. So you don't have to do this, but here are some options. So for annual, you would pay roughly $4 a month if you pay by year, um, or you could pay around $5 monthly and this is Euro. So if you do crypto to fiat exchange fee, um, it's going to be 1% plus one Euro. Premium will be 0.01% plus one Euro. And then Euro account, yes. Um, SIPA Swift, yes. Debit card, you will not have unless you have a premium account. And then support for 34 currencies, it's coming soon. So I believe that will be in the free option. So you will have the option to use this app like you are right now for free. But if you wanna get the debit card, if you wanna get a better exchange rate, then you're gonna to wanna to go premium. So I did wanna mention one other thing. If you guys are holding your Diamond Hand NFT, congratulations. For those of you that don't know what it is, it's an NFT that was airdropped to those of you that participated in the ISPO. So basically you were able to delegate some ADA to a specific pool. And instead of earning ADA rewards per epoch, you would earn a little bit of meld. So along with that, if you were in the first epoch, so the very first one, you would have received a diamond hand NFT. So the moose has one of those. And I know some others that have it as well. And then there was also the bank manager. So the bank manager, that will um, be a little bit different, but the diamond hand specifically, I believe that you may be getting um, premium for free. So once the NFTs are equipped and working well with the app, I believe we will be getting premium for free. So if you guys head over to JPEG store, but don't quote me on that because things may change. Um, I'm not sure, but it was mentioned that that was a possibility. So you have the bank managers. Um, this is going to act differently. This is more for, I believe you're lending and borrowing, but your Mel Diamond Hand NFT is for the OGs. And I believe we're going to get a premium for that. Um, so let's take a look at those. Let's see what the floor is. I remember they were around a thousand. So right now they're 538. Uh, so perhaps this is something that you'd be interested in. So head over to JPEG store. I've got tutorials on how to pick these up as well. So, so that's about it. I really recommend that you guys check it out. Um, invest at your own risk. And guys, head over to the link tree. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of content regarding meld. Currently, there is the meld node sale. So I've got a step-by-step -step tutorial, um, a 25-minute version as well as a under 10 minute version. 
Um, currently, Tier 1 is sold out for the static nodes. Those are a three-year fixed APY around 48%. Um, but you also have the dynamic nodes, and those are going to give you potentially more return depending on the activity of the MELD Layer 1 blockchain. So Tier 2 is open. If you are whitelisted, you're able to purchase. So the Moose is definitely going to be getting loose on one of those. Definitely check out those Node NFTs. I think they look cool. If you want to earn some passive income, get into the Node game. You got to check those out. Guys, if you have not already, if you want to be more like the Moose, you guys need to get loose on a Tangium. So I'm trying to pull this out like James Bond, but it's not working. Doing it more like Pink Panther right now. So guys, two card set. This is a non-custodial hardware wallet. I even messaged them and I said, hey, when are you guys getting meld? So hopefully you guys can reach out as well. This is a phenomenal cold storage wallet. So guys, if you are interested, pick up a Tangium wallet. It is my go-to everyday hardware wallet. So I keep that in my wallet and I'm ready to go. You can also pre-order your Tangium ring and you can save 10% off using code Moose. Also, as of today, we have sold over 710 Tangium wallets using code Moose. So I think that's phenomenal. I would like to see a thousand by the end of the year. If we do that, we're going to be doing a giveaway for a loose Moose holder. You guys know who you are. So you guys can check that out as well. We also have online courses, etc. But the main thing here is to go to the Meld Twitter Download the app, comment down below if you like this video, if you got something out of this, if it helped you out, and give me your thoughts out of 10 how you thought this app was. So with that being said, the moose is loose. We'll see you in the next one.